Hello, this is my first remand unboxing video. I got this remand off the shelf or uh, from a toy store in uh, where was it? Uh, Funan IT Mall in City Hall, I think. Yeah, uh, for about sixty bucks. I chose the cheapest one because I didn't want to splash out on a pretty expensive remand right off the bat. I think this is one of the the newer series of women. It features a uh, capybara sun, and it's one out of two that were there on the shelf. And I figured this one would be more, um, uh, how to say, more versatile. It has like, um, the saucepan, the uh, wing scale, the eye shaver, um, yeah, the bowl and the potato mash thingy yeah it's pretty versatile so I decided to choose this instead for my first remand yay okay let's get on with the video now I need to go and open this first it's pretty hard doing it one handed yeah, just hope I don't cut myself doing this it's so weird um, alright Okay, first part done. Let's see. I gotta cap this thing, it's dangerous. It's dangerous. Okay, let's open this baby up. Mm -hmm. <laughs> looky, looky. It has two, four, six, eight boxes. Eight boxes of wonderful remains. Okay, let's take one out and see. Wee. Okay, to be honest here, I also chose this because it has eight sets instead of like six for sixty bucks. Well, in my excitement, I actually opened this thing first because I didn't want to open it one-handed and like tear the box or something. So I kind of figured out the way to open it. Well, I, I well I kind of cheated. I watched a few. We made unboxing videos beforehand and they said like tearing of this part is not the actual way to open it. You should like open it through the perforated uh, holes at the... Uh, how do I say it? Yeah, right here there are like some perforated uh, parts for you to tear off it, the, sorry, the box cleanly so that you don't have to like mess up the box or anything. So I went ahead and did that first but I still haven't seen what I've got yet. But of course, being that this is a full set, this is not going to be like a repeat or anything. So anyway, let's just take this out. Whee! Oops, I kind of missed the candy. Um, this, as you can see, this is the... Oops, sorry, I think I have it the other way around. This is the, the rice set, I think. The number, uh, yeah, number four. Focus, focus. Alright, uh, okay, won't focus. Focus, focus, focus. Alright, this one, number four. The right set. Uh, pretty cool. What, what more can I say? Is this like two bun things? With, with capybara faces on it, I think. Yeah. And a fan, capybara fan. Capybara plate and a rice scooper. And of course, capybara rice uh, basin with bamboo rice basin. Yeah. Uh, I think I'm going to take out the whole set after this. All of the sets and like put them in a display case so you can see them all together yeah alright I'm gonna put this one side I think I'm just gonna put it in the box where I found it it's not like I found it on the floor or something or you know on the road okay never mind pardon my humor this really lame first YouTube video 
So just pardon me. Okay, I guess you're gonna have you're gonna see how I open this box. Let's see. Uh, uh crap. I don't think I can do this one handed. Well I'm gonna pause the video and open all the boxes together so I can uh, skip this part and just show you whatever else is inside. Okay, I'm gonna pass. Okay, I'm back. Well, as you can see, the box is kind of messy because I already pre-opened all of the boxes so I can actually show you guys what's inside. Alright, now for the first, sorry, the second box. Let's see what's inside. Ding ding ding. ding. Alright. I think this is number. Uh, number. Come on, focus. Number. Seven. The one with the. Well, looks like mashed potatoes and uh, milk plus lettuce or something. I think it's. Maybe it's making like potato croquet or something, you know. I don't know how to pronounce that. It's some French fried round things. Anyway. It's the milk. The measure. Lettuce. The croquet thingies. The capybara plate, which I think is very cute and simple. And the bowl with some mashed up potatoes, I think. Well, at least I think it's potatoes. Potato, potato. And the usual gum. Alright. Maybe we should just put this aside. And then move on to the next box. The next box. Xbox. Okay, lame. Making jokes. Because I'm talking to myself in an empty room. We have a video on. Okay, next box. Oh, wait, I didn't realize that they have those card thingies. Uh, crap. Uh, never mind. Uh, well, I guess I'll just continue on from here. Uh, right. Okay. Okay. Uh, crap. Doing things one handed is a bit weird. Okay, I think this is number, number, number. Okay, I should just look at the card, right? Number. Wait, they don't tell you. Oh, they do, they do tell you. It's number five. I should have done this from the start. Uh, it's number five. This looks like some sort of tomato soup with um, some bread or capybara sun biscuit, I think. So as you can see, this is the maybe this is the tomato soup you're supposed to heat in the in the saucepan or something. It's the saucepan. This is the bread or biscuit thing, which I think is really cute. It's the capybara sun. And this is the the cup bowl thing. I think there's a name for this, but I don't know. I think it starts with C. Um, that souffle cup thing. And the tomato inside. This is the, the plate. Capybara plate. Okay, let's put it one side. Right. Next one. Dun, dun, dun. Gum. Yeah, this card card's not coming out. Alright, this is number six. Which I think is a bento box with an omelette and uh, some rice balls in the shape of coffee bar sun. Right. 
Steam. I'm sure right now you're no stranger to remain unboxing videos. So this is just another one of those boring videos. But well, you can see what's inside. So I guess that's pretty interesting in itself. This pair of chopsticks. The uh, capybara sun rice balls. So you can see the face of the other one. We'll have to flip it over. Oh crap. Mm. Oh, oh, wait. I think it's. Oh, oh, I got confused. Yeah, this is the brown one. This is the purple one. This is the bento box. Copy brown sun bento box. This is probably like the omelette, the roll. Uh, and this is the pan used to contain the um, omelette. Right, let's put one set. As usual, you know, drill by now. Right. Next box. Pew, pew, pew. Come on, come on. Alright. I shall do this myself. Mm, it got stuck. It got stuck. It got stuck. I don't know if you can hear that, but that was my sister asking for her towel. Anyways, moving on. Yeah, this is set number... Uh, what's this? Come on, focus. Focus. Oh, and anyways, if it doesn't focus, you can still see it's the ice shaver. The capybara and ice shaver. Why do I keep repeating that this is capybara and you, you obviously know this is a capybara and remnant set, so... Uh, you've probably noticed my accent also changes from time to time because I don't really know what I'm saying right now anyway. Number three. Yeah. Oh, oh, why is it twisted? Why is it twisted? Why is it twisted? Ah, okay. This is the eye shaver machine. I think this is the old fashioned eye shaver machine where you just Put a block of ice below and then shave it using the shaver. So lame. Anyways, you get my drift. This is probably the the syrup used to pour on top of the ice balls or ice chips. You want uh, uh, it won't focus really well, but I think you can see it. This is the ice ball, the copybar in the shape of copybar sun with uh, some syrup on top, pink syrup. It's probably the rose syrup or strawberry syrup. This is the clear plate. Yeah, clear plate. Okay. Uh, for my first video, I hope I'm doing this right, so pardon me if I am boring you already or if I'm talking nonsense or whatever. Anyways, um, it's like the seventh box. Alright, this is number two. I think it's like French toast with an egg. And saucepan. I keep calling these saucepans. Am I right? Frying pans? Anyway. Mm -hmm. This is the saucepan. Green and black saucepan. The green and white copybar sun plate, which is like similar to the earlier plate in maroon color, except that it doesn't have the logo right here. Uh, the spatula and the what is this? What is this? Mm, mm, cinnamon. Okay, some sort of uh, sauce or powdery topping. And the capybara sun shaped French toast, I guess, with a uh, egg on top. Except the egg looks weird. Why does the egg look weird? Let me see what. 
looks like lemon slices or something. Wait, am I sure that this is an egg? Well, it looks it looked like an egg. What do you? Well, I can't tell. From here, it looks like an egg. Ah, oh, never mind. Anyway, moving on. The second last box. Well, we either know this could be um either number one or number ten, which is quite apt since it's the first and the last box. Sorry, the first and last of the series. Anyway. Mm -hmm. Come on. Or, come on. Alright. Oh, this is number, uh, wait, wait, uh, I think about my words, there is no 10, this is number 8, wait, the first, well, still the first and last, it's just that this is number 1 and number 8, since this is an 8 box series, uh, this looks like an apple pie, yes, yeah, an apple pie with an apple and the knife. Uh, I think I'm just gonna just flip this. This is the copybar sun shaped apple pie. Or oh, is it pie? But I assume it's an apple pie. I think you can open this. Wait, let me see. Yeah, I think you can open this. It's just that it's not separating for me right now. Separate, separate. Well, yeah, okay. Yeah, you can see it there. It's. I would think it's probably apple pie since there's an apple here. Yeah, anyways. Can be any pie you like. You can just like pear pie, orange pie. I don't think there's such thing as orange pies, but it could be any pie you like. Uh, copy bar some plate. Uh, copy bar some chopping board. It's very shiny. Uh, can't see the face of the bit. Oh, wait, wait, wait. Oh, well, it's in the shape of Capybara Sun, and you can faintly see the face. Uh, anyway, um, knife and an apple. Apple. Okay. On to the last box. Last box. Da -da -da -da. Da -da -da -da. Last box. Yeah, come on, yeah, come on, cart, come on, cart. Uh, never mind. Well, this is the last one. Number one. We have a uh, flaw, wing scale, and uh, two buns. In the shape of Capybara Sun. Duh. Okay. Um, this is a. Uh, huh, huh, huh. Well, mm, I guess I'll go this way then. You can see the two capybara sun shaped buns. Capybara buns. Copy buns. The capybara sun flower bag. I still keep repeating the capybara sun thing, anyways. Uh, basket and the wing skill. Yeah, the wing skill. She's quite cute. Focus. Focus. I don't know, I think it's too close. Anyways, too bad that thing doesn't spring up and down. That'd be really, really cute. But, anyways, the details on these things are pretty awesome. So, I don't think you can get any more awesome. Or else the price will go up anyway, so yeah, this is the last of my Capybara Sun box. Uh, I think i uh, pause again to assemble them first into a more presentable shape so you guys can see them assembled. Alright, pause.
Okay, um, back in. And I've already assembled all the sets on the table and the display. Um, how, how do you call it? The display. I don't know, I just call it a display platform that I have. Both bought from Daiso. This, uh, this table and this, uh, platform. Actually, it's supposed to be like, like this. It's like a display case. Just use the platform to show you what it's like first. So, as you can see. Uh, maybe if you move further so I can focus. Uh, it's, okay, never mind. Anyway, roughly you can see how it's like. The, the bread, pan. Well, I still think this doesn't look like an egg. Maybe it's not supposed to look like an egg. Maybe it's like peaches and cream on, on cinnamon toast or something like that. Anyway, and bento set. And oh yeah, okay. Maybe I should just ah, that's better. Yeah. Anyway, you can see the whole set right there. It looks pretty cool on the table. The table looks like about the right size I just need some like right sized right scale models for this sorry dolls any the the rice set the tomato soup set if the cute bread thing the croquets the pie yeah everything looks super duper cute I'm not sure whether this would be called 1 6 scale or 1 12 scale, but I have a 1 12 scale kitchen coming up. I'm ordering from Taobao. Uh, hasn't arrived yet, I just ordered it, but hopefully it will be of the same scale, or else this would be a bit weird because this will all be too big. But uh, I'm also ordering, or sorry. I'm eating the gum right now, so I'm, my mouth is kind of like hard to pronounce stuff. So I'm ordering a an orkara set. It's like a Chinese version of Rement. Uh, it's cheaper though. It's like half half the price you would get from a normal Rement set of normal cheaper Rement set. It's like about twenty plus bucks, sing or at the most about thirty plus bucks so it's like half the price so I want to see how it's like uh, currently I just ordered the what was it called the cooking with mama set or something like that something like this it, it has like a microwave butter you know things like that yeah and oh I want to tell you tell you guys that I also have another remote set which I haven't opened yet which I'm not going to open in um, right now because it's just a, uh, an unboxing video for the Capybara Sunset but I got this it's the Pucci Petite uh, Mini Sweets I think it's the sort of like the US version of a uh, Rement uh, actually I saw this at where was it at Bugis, uh, was it called Isetan or oh I think it was BHG some the the one before BHG. Anyways, I saw it at the department store like uh, quite a few years back when I was like younger, not that young, but when I was younger, and I thought wow. Well, I, at that time I heard of Rement already, but. It was like way too expensive for me to buy like you know 40, 50 bucks for a box of small miniature toys which I probably didn't know how to appreciate back then. But anyway I got this from a fellow collector who has been collecting for some time but has decided to let go of her unopened remain boxes. Which is cool. I got this for 60 bucks the same as... Uh, the capybara sunset uh and it's probably a good deal because this is like continued this con it, this 
sorry, the gum inside my mouth. Uh, this is discontinued right now. So this is probably the only chance I'll get to get my hands on this set unless I get it from somewhere else which I have checked and it's quite expensive. Probably not as expensive as some of the more rarer sets like the tablewares and stuff but yeah anyway but now I'm deciding whether I should or should not open this. It's a cool set and all look at how cool it is. It has like maybe I should like yes um this donut bakery thing uh I have to uh, crap my auto focus again um it has yeah the donut drive through the cupcake creations the birthday surprise the cookies ice cream s'mores strawberry shortcake fruit smoothies as a blender so I <clears throat> sorry I can add to my uh, kitchen collection Data fair all American apple pie well has this mixer so I can like sort of pretend that I'm baking these two basically uh, all the remand sets that I'm trying to collect right now feature like kitchen appliances or things like baking stuff and, f and food so I can like complete my kitchen set anyways so I had my eye on the well well I'm also looking out for like those supermarket sets like the Akogari uh, import supermarket set or something like that anyway um, yeah but it's like well I think it's about 60 odd bucks online anyway I'm trying to decide whether currently I'm trying to decide whether I should or should not open this Maybe, well, maybe since I'm already uploading this video, you guys can tell me whether I should or should not open this. Alright, see you on the next video. Hopefully when I open my Orkara remand sets and show you my uh, miniature kitchen. Okay, that's all for now. Hope that you, that you have enjoyed my mini video review unboxing thingy okay see ya